Hey there, Laura Jane back, and I'm excited to talk to you about meditation more and more because I feel like meditation is one of those things a lot of us wish we were doing it right or we like doing it at one point, but we've given it up even. But I feel like it's because we've got some misconceptions about meditation, what it is, how we can use it, and what we're really doing with the mind in something like meditation. And that's what I want to talk to you about today because what I see with meditation, and really I love to share that meditation can be done in all sorts of ways, in all sorts of positions. There's not just one way to meditate, right? But when we get down to the basics, what we get to be doing is reestablishing our relationship with the mind, which is pretty cool, right? To have an opportunity to drop in, tune in to what is happening in the mind and to develop more of a relationship with ourselves, of course, with that mind and also to develop a way of finessing what's happening in that mind and helping our, our focus, our attention, our awareness be even more in a place that is working for us, right? And so some of what we get to do with the simplest forms of meditation really that I see that really help us reestablish that relationship with our mind and even change our relationship with our mind, with ourselves and with our lives is that we get a chance, first of all, to just listen, just notice what is on the mind. We get a chance to tune in more to what's true for us. And that becomes a valuable part of the therapy of meditation. So that's one of the reasons it's not all about just shutting that mind up, turning it off like some people think. It's about listening to that mind, noticing what is on it and taking a look at that doing some noticing and even some learning about what's true for us, what's going on in the mind, what are we thinking about, what are we worrying about, what are we remembering. This is important, right, as part of a more connected life. We also get a chance to, from that more listening observer perspective, bring in something that's super important in the psychology of all of this, and that's something we call non-judgment. So as we're starting to do this listening, this noticing, this observing, of what is happening on the mind in whatever form of meditation we're doing, we get a chance to bring in that non-judgment, which is another part of really the therapy of meditation I see. Because when we get a chance to notice, observe, yes, take a look at what's happening in the mind, what's true for us right now, when we bring in that non-judgment, it helps us really shift our experience with what we're noticing, right? When we when we resist that urge to decide whether it's good or bad or right or wrong. And this also helps us prevent even more thinking that is probably not going to be helpful when we really resist that urge to do the judgment judgment. And if we do find ourselves wanting to judge, we're also just noticing that, right? So bringing in that non-judgment as we're doing that listening, that observing is a huge part of the therapy of meditation. And then definitely we do get to play with quieting the mind and being able to do that. And I'm excited about sharing that just seconds at a time of quieting is huge and curative and powerful. And it really shifts the momentum of our thinking. It refreshes the mind for more creativity. And it can be that place in that quiet that we do create, even again, if it's just seconds at a time, where we can get into a different sense of connection, even those very feelings of spirituality, and being really present in the moment, which has its own magic, right? So we get to become more of that listener with the mind, more of the observer. We get to bring in that non-judgment, which we could also call more like self-love, right? And that's really going to change our relationship with our mind and with ourselves. And we also get to play with and get better at quieting the mind. And even next step is redirecting the mind for sure is some of what we get to do with meditation. So we get to do the listening. We get to do that reconnecting, loving approach with ourself. We get to, yes, learn to quiet that mind and then also redirect that mind. So it's powerful. It's awesome. And it's a lot easier than we think. It can be done in any position in all sorts of ways. You don't even have to be still. It could be walking as meditation dancing as meditation, time in the day, time in the bath, time on a pillow, of course. But yeah, this is some of the deeper parts of what we're doing with meditation that make it such a therapy and really helps us reestablish that relationship with the mind. And that's how it can be so transformative, right? So yeah, just some of what I'm loving about meditation and excited to share. So if I can help you with your practice at all, I'm here, right? I'm here and <laughs> that's what I do. So Thanks for listening, guys. Namaste.